Hi, we are going to talk today about dividing complex numbers. Um, so we often see them written in the form of a fraction, although a regular division sign can be allowed, but we're going to work with expressions in that form. So what we are going to do, because we are um, always going to be interested in not having a, um, anything irrational and definitely not imaginary on the bottom. So what we do is we multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate. So the denominator is 4 minus 5i, we're going to multiply it by 4 plus 5i. And whatever we multiply the denominator by, we're going to multiply the same by the same quantity, the numerator. So we're going to multiply this. The bottom is going to give you difference of squares. This is going to give you 4 squared minus 5i squared. The numerator we're just going to FOIL it. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5i is plus 15i, 2i times 4 is 8i, and 2i plus, uh, times 5i is going to be 10i squared. So if you uh, understand um, the basic work with that, so the bottom is going to give us 16 plus 25. Because 5i squared will give you 25i squared, and i squared is negative 1. The numerator, we simplify this, uh, we are also going to get negative 1 here. So this is 10, uh, I'm sorry, 12 plus 23i minus 10, which is going to give us 2 plus 23i divided by 41. Now we do need to put it in standard form, and the standard form of a complex number is this. So we we'll basically just split it. So it's 2 over 41 plus 23 over 41i. And this is the answer. Okay. Let's continue. So now the problem. Example 1. So the bottom is 1 plus 2i, the conjugate is 1 minus 2i, so multiply this, um, the numerator by the same thing. So this is going to give us 1 squared minus 2i squared. The numerator we're foiling, 1 minus 2i minus 3i plus 6i squared. So 6i squared will give us negative 1. The denominator here will give us 1 plus 4. So it's 1 minus 5i minus 6 over 1 plus 4. <coughs> 1 plus 4 is 5. Right? So we're getting negative 5 minus 5i divided by 5. And in this case, it actually divides very nicely. We are going to get negative 1 minus i. Example 2, same kind of a problem, multiply by 1, oh, it's actually exactly the same problem, never mind, moving on, my mistake. Okay, so example 3, so we got negative 1 plus 5i over negative 2 minus 3i, we're going to multiply by the conjugate, which is negative 2 plus 3i, negative 2 plus 3i, so foiling that will give us 2 minus 3i minus 10i plus 15i squared all over negative 2 squared minus 3i squared. Please use parentheses when you do it. So this will give you negative 1. So we have 2 minus 13i minus 15 over, this is 4 plus 9, which is 13, right? So we are going to get negative 13 minus 13i divided by 13, which is going to give us negative 1 minus i, okay? And example 4. So example 4 is one tiny difference because it does not have a true uh, complex form with, uh, in this case, a is zero. So when a is zero, you don't actually have to use the conjugate. You can just multiply by the same quantity because this will give you a rational number. 
although you if you multiply by negative 2y it's not going to be incorrect it's going to give you the same result but anyway so multiply this this is going to give us 16 i minus 10 i squared all over 4 i squared we do remember that i squared is negative 1 so this gives you negative 1 here and negative 1 there and uh, what do we have we have 16 i plus 10 over negative 4 we do need to put it in standard form so it's 10 over negative 4 plus 16 i over negative 4 which will give us all in all, this simplifies to negative 5 halves minus 4i. This is our answer. Okay, this is how you, how you divide complex numbers. I hope this helps.